This is not where Brian Schaefer ever thought he would be. Needing extra time and effort just to get out of his pickup truck. But it's the only way for Brian to get around now. Just a few years ago, Brian was playing football in high school and college, enjoying life with his wife Kendra and their four children. But Christmas night 2010, life changed drastically. Coming over an overpass, I hit some ice and flipped my, my vehicle. Um, I just knew that when I tried to get out of the vehicle, all I could do was drag myself out backwards. So I knew that I couldn't stand up or move my legs at that point. I knew something was pretty serious that happened. The complete spinal cord injury left Brian paralyzed from the waist down. One, two, three. But now Brian is working with Vanderbilt researchers led by Michael Goldfarb on a new robotic device. Called an exoskeleton, it attaches above Brian's hips and to his legs. Everything feels pretty good. One, two, three. There we go. Electric motors at both hip joints and both knee joints are powered by small lithium batteries and controlled by microcomputers. The microcomputers talk to each other and basically tell the legs to, to move forward and they command that through the, the, uh, the motors in the leg. It's Brian's first time up for a few weeks. The crutches help only with stability. To activate movement, Brian uses hip placement. It's a pretty easy movement, you know. You're just leaning, leaning to the left a little, putting your weight, lean to the right, and it's gonna take another step. And with even more practice, Brian should be able to make advanced moves like this patient. There we go. Along with social and psychological benefits, Dr. Goldfarb says the exoskeleton helps the body. One of the things this does is, is gives, the, the, just being able to walk around for 30 minutes a day uh, addresses uh, a lot of these secondary issues. Bone density reduces muscle spasticity, uh, improves uh, skin conditions, uh, improves peripheral circulation. Goldfarb says the legged Segway will not replace a wheelchair. It will just take disabled people where a wheelchair can't go. Researchers have signed an agreement with Parker Hannafin to commercially produce the device and hope to have it available to the public in 2014. I mean, just being able to actually stand up after four, five, six months of not standing up, that's, that's wonderful. Brian says the exoskeleton is comfortable and doesn't tire him at all. The device fits in a wheelchair and snaps apart for easy transportation. For Brian, he is just ready to walk again. Yeah, I, I, see, it. I see myself walking one day. is I'd like to be able to have these legs on, you know, get out of my vehicle or get out of my chair and be able to stand up against the fence and watch, watch my son play ball. I would love to do that. I would love to do that. For ViewCast, Barb Kramer reporting.